The film Rubber, written and directed by Quentin Dupois, introduces the symbolism of no reason from the start of the movie all the way to the very end. The beginning monologue by the sheriff, played by Stephen Spinella, explains that most movies have no reason to the events that are played out, but we still watch them. For example, with this movie in particular, the audience sees a tire named Robert that comes to life and seems to harm everything that gets into his way. Was there a reason behind having this tire come to life and cause havoc? Probably not, but that's what makes the story more interesting, because although there is no actual plot, there has to be more meaning into the story. All stories have some underlying meaning, whether they are exciting or boring. It is how one comes to that meaning. A great way of figuring out such meaning is looking at the implicit and explicit meaning of the film. In looking at movies by Richard Barsom and Dave Monaghan, they define implicit meaning as an association, connection, and inference that a viewer makes on the basis of the given meaning conveyed by the story and form of the film. Explicit meaning is everything that a movie presents on its surface. If a person were to ask you what the movie Rubber was about, you would say that Rubber is a story of a tire named Robert that is brought to life and begins on a journey where he learns that he can destroy anything with his mind. As this plays out, there are a group of people that are considered the audience who watch with binoculars as this tire goes through life creating havoc. That would be considered the explicit meaning. Now your friend asks you what you think the movie is trying to say to its audience. You think real good and you answer her with what you got from watching the movie. That would be an example of implicit meaning. In an interview by the Film Review with the producer Gregory Bernard, he says, I think if you spoke to Quentin, he'd probably give you a good explanation of why he doesn't like taking the audience or critics by the hand and explaining the why and the reason behind everything. And the introducing monologue is part of that. But of course, there's always meaning in every frame. No matter how odd the movie might be, there still lies implicit meaning throughout. There has to be a reason why this tire is blowing people's heads off or why he is going to the places he is going. This brings us back to the idea of the story having no reason to it. In another interview by Cinema Blend with Quentin, he explains that the opening monologue set the tone for the rest of the movie. He says, this is the tone, this is the setup. No, now you like it? Welcome. If you don't, you should leave because this is the movie. What this director is doing is going against the norms of what movie industry is all about. This no reason theme that is resonating throughout is his way of saying that movies are the way of expressing creativity and should be created with no reason but to entertain the audience.